Hey, welcome to episode three of the vlog. TJ's gig life. Got uh no travels this this week, which is which is nice. It's nice, nice to uh do a little bit, have a weekend where you don't go out of town. Had the giddy goat on Thursday, the Berska Tavern tonight. Just finished up there. And then I got the giddy goat again on fr on Saturday. Sorry, and then the Oxford Hotel on Sunday. Yeah, the Oxford Hotel's always been, you know, one of my favourite places. I played there for about seven years. Anyway, uh, you know, first two gigs of the weekend have been fantastic. As always, you know, the Giddy Goat's a lovely Thursday night out. They do a, they do a cheap steak, and then the Berska Tavern's a nice, always a nice early gig for me. You know, it finishes at nine, so I can be back home. Have myself refreshing little pims. And, you know, I think uh, the plan is at the moment, at some point on Saturday or Sunday, to get some more promo photos done. You know, I'm going to uh, hook up with my buddy, uh, Brendan Kirkman, of One More Photography. He's one of, the best, uh, one of the best gig photographers in the country, in my opinion. Done a bit of work with him over the years. He's been absolutely great. Very, very, very talented guy. I do recommend if you're looking for a photographer for anything, get a hold of this guy if you can. Anyway, uh, so, obviously not in the car today. I'm in, uh, back at, back at my house. In, uh, one of these future weeks I'll do a, I'll do a, a Cribs, I'll do a Cribs video. You know, and just, not this weekend because I need to do a lot of cleaning up first. I mean, don't even have the bed, don't even have the bed made. Can't be, can't be showing that off to the world. But, gonna do a, gonna do a weekly thing here from now on, I think. Um, do an album recommendation. If you're looking for some tunes that you haven't, might not have heard. This week's album recommendation, uh, came out late last year. It's, uh, by a French duo called Justice. Which, uh... I'm a huge fan of, big supporter of, and there are, uh, if you like, if you like Daft Punk, you should be probably on these guys, they're kind of like a house music duo, but still got a lot of a disco and funk elements, even a little bit of 70s guitar through it, and they're not like most DJs, you know, they're um, in that similar vein to Daft Punk, they record a lot of their instruments live in the studio. Uh, the album's called Woman, and it's definitely, definitely one of my picks for album of the year from last year. You know, uh, if you're looking for a song, looking for something to check out, you know, just uh, my particular favourite songs, uh, probably be Randy. Randy's one of my favourites, Safe and Sound, you know, those two were singles, but my little, uh, my little Dark Horse favourite on that one's a song called Stop. So, that's my album recommendation, the first one. First that's one for this week. And if you haven't heard it, go out, get it. It's on Spotify if you... But again, you know, um... One thing we always, you know, one thing we always ask. If you want to, you want to help... You know, if you want to help the musos that you really like... If you find something on Spotify that you, do, that you dig, maybe go out and buy it. You know, buy the CD, buy the buy the vinyl. If there's if there's a vinyl of it and you're in it and you're into the vinyl, I'd highly recommend picking picking up the vinyl because that's that's a huge compliment. That's a huge compliment to an artist. But either way, like um, the truth is, there's no money in Spotify or any of these other streaming services for artists. You know, I read an article about there's a Melbourne progressive metal band called Voyager who were fantastic. And I read an article or an interview with one of the guys from Voyager and he was kind of saying that of the 38,000 plays that the full record had, it netted them 20-something euro. 
And so it, it really it really works out. A lot of these streaming services, your Spotify and all that, every time you play a song, we end up with maybe 0.001 of a cent per play. And you kind of compare that with, for a $2 song on iTunes, you know, $2 Australian, I, I end up with, you know, about a dollar. Dollar ten, maybe? You know, once you... Once iTunes takes their percentage, once, uh, you know, once my distributor takes their percentage as well. Which I use CD Baby for, distribu for distribution. It's, uh, they're a great service. They, you know, they take a, um, they do a one-time fee to set up, for the setup. And they'll put your music on, you know, they'll put your music on. All your download sites like iTunes, Google Play, Amazon Music, their ones, the CD Baby website. Then if you want, you can also get your site, your music put on this, all the streaming services. And they look after all of that sort of stuff. And Because trust me, getting on iTunes is really hard. You actually need to have a US tax, num tax file number, you know, to get your music on iTunes. And unless you use a distribution service that has one already. And that's, you know, why CD Baby's such a great service. And there are other distro services out there as well that, you know, budding musicians can use that are fairly cheap. I like CD Baby compared to its competitors because they charge a one-time setup fee and then a percentage. You know, uh, some of the other distribution services might charge a lower setup fee, but they charge yearly rates as well. They'll charge a lesser setup fee They'll get their percentages on each sale, and then they'll also charge a yearly upkeep fee. And if you don't pay the upkeep fee, they take your music down. At least this way, my music's, th you know, through CD Baby, my music's always going to be up there on iTunes now. And Google Play, and the CD Baby website, and all of that. Seven Music, Amazon Music, all of them. Anyway, I'm going to try and get a little bit more done tomorrow uh you know got there got a very long gig tomorrow it's gonna you know starting at nine going through till two in the morning and um, i'll um hopefully catch up with you guys later on after that and so it's uh quarter past four in the morning on sunday morning i just finished work at the giddy goat finished the gig ended up doing Six hours, so I've just I've just gotten home now. It was a it was a really good gig. I got to admit, it was a little bit trepidatious because a lot of my material is probably not Saturday night at the hot spot in town material. But I think you know, um, everyone seemed to have a good time and seemed to manage to be just flexible enough. Still without fucking playing horses. Or without playing Darius Rucker. Hate to throw shade on another musician here, but I think he may have left his lyrics writing skills back over with Hootie and the Blowfish. But anyway, I am fucking zonked. I need to have dinner. I need to go to bed. Because I have an... I have a gig at 5pm at the Oxford Hotel tomorrow. And anyway, um, I may do a bit, of a bit more recording tomorrow night after I finish there. I may not. But either way, it's really nice to have full gigs in town. Not have to spend my entire day driving. But it is time for a very unhealthy dinner. Yeah, so it's quarter past ten on Sunday night. Just finished up at the Oxford. It's my fourth gig in four days. Done for the weekend. You know, all up, I did sang for close to twenty hours. So my throat's a little bit, a little bit scratchy, a little bit hoarse, a little bit sore. But you know, that's what happens. To be honest, it was not my best gig. It was not on my A game tonight. Unfortunately, sometimes that happens. There's not really too much you can do, but just, you know, try to do your best no matter what. There's no use really just packing in the towel on it, but, you know, you always got to 
always got to try your best. It's like Michael Jordan always, you know, he, he said that he, you know, he always has to go and put, he always had to go on and put his best show because, you know, the best he could do because there was always going to be someone in the crowd that this is the only time they'd ever get a chance to see him. You know, and I'm a big believer in that. You know, there are definitely going to be people who this is going to be the only chance they ever have to see what I see what I can do. So I owe it to them to, you know, give absolutely everything that I've got every night. Even if, you know, some nights my 100% isn't quite the usual 100%. But, anyway, you know, there's nothing you can do but going through it. You know, keep pushing, keep pushing. So, anyway, that's going to be me for this week. I'm fucking exhausted. I'm going to have another Pim's. And I'm going to get some fucking dinner in me and get some sleep. So, good fucking night.